I think the first thing that I had to do was try to erase any preconceived ideas I had about him. Things that I've heard, things that even my grandma told me when I was growing up, and really sort of like a cleaning process and then go into a neutral place and start from there. Jack was really uh, involved with his character and very committed to the whole process of, of making this film. And we did talk quite a lot about the scenes and the, uh, the dynamic of the relationship between Judah and Jesus and Ben-Hur. It's a very interesting one. And we actually have some very memorable uh, moments uh, that we, you know, we share. And, and I really enjoyed working with him because we, we really, you know, exchanged. It was a very uh, collaborative uh, process. I'm a chariot racer. By that I mean I have chariots and I, I, it's like, it's like owning race cars, you know. I own a chariot and horses and, and he proves to be quite effective with horses. I and mean, I have a very sick horse, um, which he manages to nurse back to health. So I, we make a deal. He's trying to get back to Jerusalem because he doesn't know the disposition of his mother and sister, and uh, I need a driver. So, hey, you scratch my back, I'll help you. There was a lot of uh, conflict, moral conflict in this film, I think. Um, but you, you just never know what people are going to take from a story. Jack's playing it beautifully. He plays this very whimsical kind of relaxed, laissez-faire, what's the big deal, this is our tradition, this is our future, it's kind of set in stone. And I think because he doesn't really belong there, it's, it's desperate in Marsala to prove his worth. And violence is a great way because it's very instant. His vision that he, we spoke about when we met uh, for my audition, it hasn't faltered at all. He is adamant that this has to be what families do to one another, the journey of brothers, the journey of mother and sister and brother. And it hasn't faltered in any way. This whole film, The Undertone, is what's moral, what's, what's truly right to do, and I think that's Judah's um, sort of, his psychology throughout the entire film is what is the correct thing to do. Hi, here's an interesting movie fact for you. Each frame of the CGI scenes in Jane Cameron's Avatar, 1 24th of a second, took an average of 47 hours to render. Can you believe it? For this and more movie facts, click on more videos. But if you want something else, click on the playlist.